Welcome to your Daily Revolution podcast. Today's topic, how to overcome comparison and live with joy. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. My, my name is Satya Mangali, the founder and creator of the Prosperity Revolution, a global movement that helps you to get out of scarcity and into prosperity every single day. A movement where people have value, things do not, where money is a result of helping people, where you're rewarded for creating value for others, and where prosperity is not the result of luck, but, but, but a predictable steps and formulas, and, and, and where happiness is, is the ultimate goal. Yo, yo, my friends, what is up? Good to be with you on another edition of Your Daily Revolution. I appreciate you listening. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. If you get something from this Take a screenshot, tag me, forward it to someone and let me know you're getting value. And if you haven't done so yet, I would love a review over on iTunes or Stitcher or whatever platform you listen to. Let's dive into the podcast. So now I look at my life and what I'm creating. You know, look, look, I, I get it, right? There's there's some huge influencers and coaches, and right, there's guys that are guys and guys that are incredible. A lot of my good friends, they're in big businesses and huge events. And every once in a while, I go through this phase and I've just, I'm okay with it now. I used to beat myself up about it. But every once in a while, every once in a while, I go through a phase where I do this thing and it robs me of happiness and it robs me of joy and it causes me to be discouraged and depressed. And as a, every time I'd go through this, I'm like, why am I doing this? Like, what has me do this? And right, again, with the, the help of my business partners who are brothers and coaches, they coach our clients, but they also coach me and help me as well as some of my own coaches that I've hired. I was able to distinguish and like what I'm going to share with you, you've probably heard before a thousand times, but sometimes you just need to go through this path to really get it. And, you know, the, the name of this podcast is stop doing this if you want to be happy. And the thing that I was doing that was robbing me of joy and happiness was comparison. Well, there's a phrase that says comparison is the thief of joy. I want you to consider no matter how muscular or how financially wealthy or how beautiful your spouse or how much you think you have it all, there's always someone who's got it more. There's always someone who's got it better. There's someone who's bigger, faster, stronger. There's someone who's got more money than you. There's someone whose spouse may appear to have everything in order. There's someone who's just like, there's always, there's just so many people on this planet. And when I was going through these phases where I would look at some people and say, golly, look at how many followers they have. Look at how big their podcast is and look how many books they've written and look how great they are. Look at their ads. And I would go through this and, you know, some people, they're like, tell me, you really compare yourself? And I'd say straight up, yeah. Like, look, you can count on your daily revolution being real. Like, I, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I'm perfect and I don't face any adversity and I love myself all the time. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm a real human being. I have all kinds of emotions. I face temptations and challenges. And there's days where I'm on just these super highs and I just am cranking away at my purpose and creating value in the marketplace and building business. And then there's days where, man, I'm just beating myself up because I'm comparing myself. Have you ever just compared yourself to other people? How did it feel? And I want to share some things with you to help you when the comparison disease comes upon you, because that's really what it is. It's just this, it's a ridiculous thing that we take on. And sometimes it's just part of life. You're going to have to learn how to compare yourself and look at yourself. And instead of comparing your weaknesses to their highlight reel, which is really what happens on social media. Remember, everyone's social media or their fake book, or sorry, Facebook is a highlight reel. They're putting their best foot forward, which is, this is fine. That's what it is. And it's not real life for most people. There are some people who are very real on social. I feel like I'm one of them. Like there's, I'll post things where I'm in my spiritual mode, in my physical mode. Then I'll just take time where I won't post anything for a while because that's where I'm at. And here's what's really helped me. And look, if you, if you don't struggle with this at all, 
I challenge you to listen to the podcast so that you can help someone, right? Because it's one thing to say, well, don't do that. But if someone's comparing themselves or you're comparing yourself to others and someone says, well, stop doing that, it doesn't really help. It's like, yeah, I'm trying, but let me give you some simple steps and some principles to help you, okay? First of all, principle one, the truth will set you free. I want you to consider what is the truth. When you start to compare yourself, just step back and say, what's the truth? And a definition of truth is a knowledge of things as they really are. Say that again, a knowledge of things as they really are. So the truth is most likely you are comparing yourself where you are in your journey at a very weak point to someone else's part in their journey that's not even the same. If I compare myself to say Tony Robbins, my, uh, Tony, the, like one of the godfathers, or Jim Rohn, who's passed away, or Zig Ziglar, or a Darren Hardy, or a Stephen M. R. Covey, Speed of Trust, or, it's very easy, or, or a Grant Cardone, very easy to say, wow, look how far they are. What's the truth? The truth is, they're farther ahead, they've got a lot more years under their belt, a lot more experience, and It's different. It's not the same. So you really cannot make a fair comparison. That's the first thing. The truth will set you free. So just ask yourself, is what I'm comparing myself or whatever I'm comparing myself to them, is it the whole truth? And most likely it's not. Second one, principle number two in the 13 principles, perspective creates some possibilities. Perspective creates possibilities. What if you had a a perspective shift or as Stephen Covey calls it, a paradigm shift? A paradigm is the way you see the world or the lens by which you view the world. And when you're in comparison mode, where you're comparing your weakness to their strengths, it's highly likely that you are comparing yourself from a place of scarcity, right? Scarcity is a perspective. Scarcity is a a lens or a paradigm. And so if you're in scarcity, which is what most people are when they're comparing themselves, this is where I am. What I'm really saying is, if they are succeeding, that must be bad for me. (laughs) Is that the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard? Because that's ridiculous. In a world of scarcity, if they've got more followers or they're making more money or they've got a bigger home or their family or their vacations or their whatever I want to put out there, I'm coming from a place of scarcity. Because in the perspective of abundance... I ought to look at them and I could look at them and say, bless them. My goodness, God bless them. The universe send them love. That's amazing. And with the scarcity paradigm, it's so easy to just say, look how weak I am. Look how far behind I am. It's ridiculous. In fact, it's what the resistance would have you do because the moment you start to compare from a place of scarcity, What you're really saying is, if they have a lot, I don't have much. If they win, that means I'm losing, which is false. It's not the truth. The scriptures I grew up reading, it says Satan is the father of all lies. Stephen Pressfield's book called The War of Art. Okay, War of Art, Stephen Pressfield, phenomenal book. This resistance does not want you to be happy. And the resistance or the enemies that I like to call it would do everything to have you not do what's required and not live up to your full potential and the full measure of why you were created. So it lies to you, violates principle number one, and then it puts you into a perspective or a paradigm of scarcity. There's not enough. Isn't that the most ridiculous thing? If they're winning, that must mean I'm bad. What a lie. So get into the truth. What's the truth? Things as they really are. Understand that, like again, they're at a different spot. Number two, from a place of scarcity, your thinking is so backwards that you can't even appreciate what they've done. So once you have those two things, now try this on, okay? Be grateful. Just say, man, man, I am, and and you're going to have to try this on. When you see someone crushing it, just say out loud, bless them. Man, that's amazing. I'm so happy for them because what begins to happen is you shift out of scarcity into a world of abundance. The abundant mentality, as I first learned from Stephen Covey in Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, talks about this mentality where there's more than enough. And and if someone's succeeding, that is not bad for me. That's actually good for me because someone is showing me the path. 
I see some of my good friends. We started about the same time and they're absolutely winning and crushing it. The truth is I have nothing to compare myself to, nothing to be ashamed of. The perspective is if they're doing it, so can I. And when I start to say, bless you, right? Because if you say, I hope you fail, that is one of the worst things you can do. Wishing failure upon someone else. One of the most, it's damaging. And instead of doing that, send people love, send people gratitude. Thank God, thank the universe that there's other people out there who have courage and power and certainty and capacity to actually go do the work to build the life that they want because they are showing you that it can be done. And instead of being jealous and instead of beating yourself up, be inspired. Look at people and say, wow, thank you. Thank you for showing me the path. I am so grateful. This gratitude way of living, instead of comparing, just be inspired. Look at what people have done and be inspired. Like, just be so filled with joy and happiness for them. Because what you're doing is you're, you're sending them this vibrational energy from the universe. And when you do that, you're welcoming that success into your life. So, first two things. For principle one, truth will set you free. Just be real. Take a step back and say, am I really seeing this from a place of truth? Number two, perspective creates possibilities. Principle number two of the 13 principles. You shift your perspective out of scarcity to into abundance. Number three, bless them. Just, just send them love. And instead of seeing someone in a Lamborghini or, or a Rolls Royce or flying on a private jet or with all their followers and they live on social media, instead of saying, I would never do that. Of course you wouldn't because you don't. Just say, wow. They do amazing. One of my good friends, uh, she's under Instagram. Uh, her name is Corinne Stoko. Uh, she's like, they're like family to us. I love her and her husband. She's the mint arrow on Instagram. Incredible family. Like, just love them. She taught me a lesson that was very powerful for me before. She says, Satem, instead of like comparing and saying, I would never do this, just, she's like, don't do that. And she said some other things, but I've never forgot. She said that a few years ago because I would say, look, some others might drive their Lamborghinis. And I was just, again, from a place of scarcity. Quite frankly, I don't care if people drive Lamborghinis. There's some Lambos rolling around town. And my boy's like, whoa. I was like, yeah, that's the that person's doing something in their life that they want that, go get it. And I take the lesson that Corinne taught me, my sweet sister and sister Stoko. And I just, I'm like, blessings to them. Like blessings to people who want to go and make a difference in the world. Final thing is this, you know, we talk about stop comparing. Instead of putting others down, and we talk about being inspired by them, here's the final thing that's just made a difference for me. Why don't you go get clear about the life you want to live? Let me say this again. Why don't you go and get clear about the life you want to live. Instead of putting others down for living on social media or for having a certain lifestyle, for looking a certain way, right? Whatever that, I mean, you want to inject things into your lips, you want to put things into your body, you want to work out 10 hours a day, you want to take trips to the Bahamas. Like, instead of you looking at them and putting them down, be inspired and say, hey, how do I want to live? And be great, like be inspired by people and then you go get clear. Principle four is clarity is power. And when you get clear about the lifestyle and the contribution and how you want to feel every day and the way you want to live and, you know, like, it's amazing what happens because you'll then look at other people instead of comparing, you'll just, it will fuel your desire and it will fuel your ability to be inspired to go do the work, to receive compliments and blessings, to find opportunities. I'm grateful for my sister, Corinne, who shared that with me. I've never forgot it. And when I get into a place where occasionally I'll start to compare, I just step back and like, whoa, 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 Satema. Blessings to them. Ain't got nothing to be ashamed of. You're living the life you want to live. You're doing what you want to do. And I truly am. I'm literally sitting outside of a breakfast spot. My wife has got my son at his physical therapy before he starts school. And I'm going to have breakfast with my wife. I've already got a 90 minute workout in. I've already listened to this thing called general conference in my church. I've just listened to a talk a day, done some reading, shot my messages to my mom and dad. Like I'm living the life I want to live and I love it. And I hope that you will go live the life you want to live. And instead of comparing, 
because it will rob you of happiness. Appreciate what people are doing. Look at them, not with this jealousy and envy, but look at them with admiration and say, wow, that's amazing. Like, I love how they, like, I love it. And be, be so genuinely happy from a place of abundance. You cannot help but be happy every single day. Now, if you look across the physical, spiritual, relational, financial, how does this apply to physical? Don't compare yourself with people where they're at physically, whether they're running Ironmans or they're lifting lots of weights or they're like incredibly fit and toned and lean and, and doing yoga. Like just run your race and appreciate them spiritually. You don't have to compare yourself to anyone. You don't have to pray. Like I look at Jay Shetty. I'm reading his book right here, listening to his book for the second time. Think like a monk. I love Jay, man. I've never met him, but I'm like, oh, I can really appreciate this guy's journey. It's amazing. Relationally. Don't compare yourself with other people's marriage. Remember, people put on social media one side of the story. And some people put all, all sides. But just stay with your relationships and really figure out what you want. And then, of course, financially, you don't need to compare yourself. We had a, uh, one of my brothers here that came through Titan Immersion last week, 28 years old, 28 years young, flew halfway across the world from Australia, came to Titan Immersion, is in our circle of champions. This is a young cat, like filled with energy and just so committed. And I'm looking at him and my partners are looking at him and we're saying, listen, man, this is Caleb. <laughs> you are far ahead of the game. You don't need to compare yourself to where we're at and the way our office is. And I say that to everybody and any guy or gal, run your race, get clear about what you want, be inspired by other people's success. And anytime the disease of comparison tries to rob you of, of joy and happiness, step back, let the truth set you free shift your perspective from a place of jealousy and envy to a place of abundance and admiration and inspiration and go live your life. I hope that helps you guys. I appreciate you very, very much. If you're looking for help in your life, if you want to be helped in your life and you want a coach to help you because having a coach, as my brother Russell Brunson says, is a cheat code. Go find a coach out there that helps you. Go actually go pay them, join their programs, buy their course. I actually just bought a course from a guy by the name of Les Spellman, who's speed. He's a speed guy, he works with NFL and track athletes. And I just bought his course last night. I'm gonna go through it so I can help my boys to get faster, make the investments in yourself. And if you like what we do here, just reach out to me in a DM. I'll send you some links, join our huddle, get inside of our huddle and let's go to work. And it might be the circle of champions, it might be immersion, but I love how we live and I love what I do. And I'm hoping that these messages are helping your heart to open up to receive the fullness of life and to really live your greatest life possible. I love you. I'm out. Have an amazing day. Let's go. Let's go. This is your daily revolution. Live in prosperity. We show you how to do it. There's no luck about it. We got the strategic blueprint. This is the your daily revolution. You already know. And if you don't, then check my resume. Turning pressure into possibilities every day. We all can win and live our unique purpose. We change our mindsets and put the work in. This is the your daily revolution. Daily revolution. Revol 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 revolution. Your daily revolution podcast. Ah.